right, fifth graders, today we're going to be doing Unit 4, Lesson 19, Trash Talk. Let's multiply to solve problems about the area of the Great Garbage Patch. Oh, I wonder what that is. What do you notice? What do you wonder? Well, I notice there's a lot of stuff floating in the water. I can see cans, bottles, paper. And then there's some larger, darker and lighter splotches in the water. I wonder if it's all trash. It looks like that's trash. Bottles, plastic bottles, some cans. I wonder where it is. I wonder what that darker spot in the middle is. If it's land or is that something else in, in water? I don't know what that gray stuff is. I wonder what it is. Oh, here we go. The image shows what it looks like in some parts of the ocean. The small things floating on the water are trash. You know, I got that, right? That's definitely a can, a bottle. How do you think trash gets into the ocean? Well, people th throw things away near the ocean, don't they? People throw things into the ocean when they're on boats. All right, Tyler walked from his, this is our first um, activity, square kilometers. Tyler walked from his classroom to the cafeteria and he said he thinks that's about a kilometer. Do you agree with Tyler? Well, I remember that one kilometer, a km is kilometer. So one kilometer is about 1,000 or is exactly 1,000 meters. And I have a meter stick in this classroom. A meter stick is about two steps. I would not think that it takes a 1,000 meters to get from here to the cafeteria. So I'm going to say no. A kilometer is a long distance and it's not that far from the classroom to the cafeteria. Mai walked around a soccer field two times. She thinks she walked about a kilometer. Do you agree with Mai? Well, a soccer field is pretty big. So if she walked it twice, that means that one time around would be a 500 meters, and that sounds about right. So I'm going to say, I'm going to agree with my and say yes, that that is possible, that it could be a kilometer. So now we're going to decide whether each distance is less than a kilometer or about a kilometer or more than a kilometer. The distance across the state where you live, well, that's definitely more than a kilometer, right? It's a very long distance across my state, and I would not walk it. So I'm going to say more than one kilometer. The distance from your home to school. Well, I live um, about 25 miles from school, and most of my students live far from school at more than 10 miles. So I'm going to say more than a kilometer. The distance from your school to the restroom. Well, that's definitely going to be less than a kilometer. It's just a few steps down the hall. So less than one kilometer. The distance you travel on a vacation in the car. Well, I'm going to say that that is going to be more than, because when I go on vacation, I don't want to walk there. So it's going to be more than one kilometer to get to um vacation. All right. Let's move on, see what's next. How far is it from school to where you live? Well, we talked about that. It's about 25 miles, so I know that that's going to be longer than a kilometer. It might be um, a thousand kilometers. <laughs> How many meters are there in a kilometer? Well, we talked about that. There are 1,000 meters in one kilometer. How many steps does it take to go one meter? Well, it takes me and about a student, a student your age about two steps to go one, kilometer, uh, one meter. How many steps does it take to go 1,000 meters or one kilometer? So if it takes two steps for each meter, I'm going to have to do 1,000, oops, I need my pen, 1,000 times two, two steps for each one, right? So that's going to be 2,000 
Steps. Does 2,000 steps help communicate how far a kilometer is? Yes. That makes sense to me. 2,000 steps does. It's a lot, but I can count to 1,000 and take that many steps is not too far. Okay. Ooh, here we go, the great garbage patch. We're back to that. It's a large area in the Pacific Ocean where trash is accumulated and floats on top of the water. We're going to compare the size of this part of the ocean to different states in the United States. What do you know about the size of our state? Well, we live in Louisiana. I know that it's smaller than Texas. It's about a little bit bigger than Mississippi, right? It's smaller than California or Colorado and Utah and all of those, but it's bigger than these little bitty states over here on the East Coast. That's what I know about my state. What about your state where you live? What can you tell me about that? All right. The Great Pacific Garbage Patch is a large area in the Pacific Ocean where trash has accumulated. Some estimates indicate that the garbage covers about 1 million square kilometers. Rhode Island is the smallest state, about 77 kilometers long and 60 kilometers wide. Which is larger, the garbage patch or Rhode Island? Explain or show your reasoning. Well, I can even guesstimate that the garbage patch is larger, but to prove it, I can figure out the area, right? It's 77 watt long and 60 wide, and I know that area is length times width, so I'm going to do 77 times 6, and I'm going to worry about that zero later, right? So 7 times 6 is 42, and 7 times 6 is 42 plus 4 would be 46. And then I'm going to add that zero. So it is 4,620 square kilometers. And we can write that like that. Okay. The garbage patch is much larger. So garbage patch. is much larger than 4,620 kilometers. Delaware is about 154 kilometers long and 48 kilometers wide, which is larger, the Great Garbage Patch, or Delaware. What, Delaware. So I can multiply 154 times 48, because I know length times width will give me the area, right? So 4 times 8 is 32. 5 times 8 is 40, plus 3 is 43. 8 times 1 is 8, plus 4 is 12. I'm done with that 8 and these two digits. I'm going to add a 0 because this is 40 times 4 is 16, or 160. 4 times 5 is 20, plus 1 is 21. 4 times 1 is 4, plus 2 is 6. 2 plus 0, 3 plus 6, 2 plus 1, 6 plus 1 is 7. So, oops, 7,392. 7,392 kilometers squared. So again, if the Great Garbage Patch is 1 million square kilometers Rhode Island is smaller and Delaware is smaller. So Delaware is smaller. All right. Let's move on to our next activity. Let's see what they ask us to do next. All right. Here's number three. New Mexico is 596 kilometers long and 552 kilometers wide, which is larger, the Great Garbage Patch or New Mexico. So again, I'm going to have to multiply 592 times 552 
big multiplication problem. So four times four is, I'm sorry, two times two is four, two times eight, nine, two times nine is 18, two times five is 10 plus one is 11. So I can mark that out and this one out. And then I'm gonna add one zero because this is 50 times two is 100, right, 100. Five times nine is 45. And we're going to add that one to be 46. 5 times 5 is 25, plus 4 is 29. So I'm done with these three things. Now I'm going to add two zeros because I'm doing 500 times 10. And that's going to be the same digits, right? I think I did that wrong. Let's try this again. 5 times 2 is 10. 5 times 9 is 54, no, 45, 46, yes. Did I get these? Ah, I wrote the wrong numbers down. So let's redo this problem again. So we have 596, not 592, times 552. All right, now we got it. 2 times 6 is 12. 2 times 9 is 18, plus 1 is 19. 2 times 5 is 10, plus 1 is 11. There we go. Now we're on the right track. 5 times 4, 5 times 6 is 30. 5 times 9 is 45, 46, 47, 48. And 5 times 5 is 25, plus 4 is 29. Now we're good to go. And I know that I'm going to do 500 times um, 596, which is going to be the same digits, right? So 2, 9, 9, that's 18, 9, 10, 11, 12, so 300,000. 328,992, and that's kilometers squared. So that is still less. So let's write that up here. 328,992 kilometers squared. And that is going to still be less than the Great Garbage Patch, right? So Circle the area on the map of the United States you think is the estimate of the area of the Great Garbage Patch. Well, if New Mexico is 300, New Mexico is going to be, if I remember geography right, this state right here. Okay, so this is about 300,000 kilometers. And so I need to get three of those, right? It's a little bit more than 300. Um, I need to get to a million, right? So if I multiply this times three, I'm going to get close to a million. Remember, I rounded this down. So an estimate of three would be good. So I need three New Mexicos. So I would say that I would circle on the map this. That is the size of the great garbage patch, the Pacific garbage patch. All right, let's see what else they asked me. Okay. Is Delaware close in size to the great garbage patch? Absolutely not. Um, one million is a lot more than 7,392. Is the garbage patch more or less than 10 times as large as Delaware? It's much more because that's only 70,000, right? If I remember, Delaware was 7,392. So if I rounded that to 7,000 and multiplied that times 10, that's only 70,000. And I need to get to a million. So that's not even anywhere close. 
is the garbage patch more or less than 100 times as Delaware. So again, we rounded that to 7,000. And if we multiplied that to 100, that would be 700, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Two, th one, two, three, four, five. So that'd be 700,000. We're getting closer. We're getting closer, but it's still less. All right. Um, how could you estimate the area of New Mexico? Well, I could estimate it by saying that, um, let's see, we said that New Mexico was 596 and 552. So I could round this to 600 and then multiply that times um, 500 or 6. We could go to 600 here too, right? But let's do 500. Since we rounded this one up, let's just keep this one down. And that would be 5 times 6 is 30, and we're going to add four zeros. And we actually found the, the whole area, didn't we? And 300,000 is very close to what we got. We got 328,000. Okay. How did you decide um, which area to circle on the map? Well, remember we said that if it's 300,000, if we had three of those, if we had three of those, we're going to get 900,000. And 900,000 is close to 1 million, right? It's only 100,000 off, and we're estimating. All right, let's do our synthesis. Today we looked at the Great Garbage Patch, which has an area of a million square kilometers. And we saw how big that is by comparing it to different states. If the Great Garbage Patch were a rectangle, what could its side lengths be? Well, that's a good question. We would have to, if it were a rectangle and the area was a million, what could the side lengths be to get to million? It could be a thousand times a thousand, right? Could be a thousand by a thousand, or we could triple one side. We could we could use different. It could be a lot of different things, but to me, I think a thousand by a thousand would be easiest to um, figure out. Much of the Great Garbage Patch is plastic. Tomorrow we will investigate the amount of recyclable plastic we produce each year. So that will be lesson 20. All right, let's get to the cool down and see if we know how to do this. All right, Wyoming is 600 kilometers wide and 452 kilometers long. What is the area? Remember that we have to do length times width to find area. So I'm going to multiply 452 times 6. I'm not going to worry about these two zeros until the end. 6 times 2 is 12. 6 times 5 is 30 plus 1 is 31. 6 times 4 is 24. 25, 26, 27. And then we're going to add the two zeros because it's 600, not 6. So the area of Wyoming is 271,200 kilometers squared, or you could write square kilometers. All right. That's it for lesson 19. I'll see you for lesson 20, and then we'll be done with unit four.